Welcome back, everyone. This is Super Star Brother playing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D Master Quest for the 3DS. We have, um, we have done a few things in Kakariko Village, like get ourselves a big quiver so that we can now have 40 arrows in our quiver. We, uh, talked to the Sco cursed Skulltula family, so now we have a giant's wallet, which can now fit 500 rupees, which is the largest wallet that we can carry in this game. Uh, and, uh, let's see, we talked to Link of the Gorons, who told us that all the Gorons have been kidnapped and taken to the Death Mountain Crater, where, uh, Dragon Volvagia wants to eat them. Ooh, yummy. So, now we're on our way to, after received, after having received the Goron tunic from him, we are now on our way to rescue all his, uh, people. Help, uh, Darunia out. Give his dad a little, give his dad a hand in rescuing his people. It is something that grows over time, a true friendship, a feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero of fire. I almost did it. We have learned the Bolero of Fire. Link, I'll see you again. I'll take your word for it. Alright then, we'll move on to the Fire Temple. This is where we're going to be teleporting once we play the Laro of Fire. And this way is the way to the, uh, the, the, the Fire Temple. Hmm, I wonder if I want to go after that. Nah, I don't. Never mind. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ooh, nice! Nice catch, Link. Nice catch. Now we enter. The Fire Temple. Alright, right off the bat, we're not going to be able to climb these stairs. That would be why. Actually, we could climb the stairs if we wanted to, just hop up to here, but... First off, I'm going to come through here. Oh! Ooh! Whoa! Eh! Ooh! Go away! Shoo! Fuzz off! Go away! Go away! Ooh! Ugh! Ooh! You evil little ugh. Yeah, sure, and it traps us in here with it. Alright. Ah, this should be a key. Or a blue ruby, that works too. Never mind. Came in here for no reason. Probably could have talked to the Goron. We probably should have, but... Yeah. Coming over here, we will need a key. Which is... So we're not going to be able to do that. Instead, we're just going to jump up here. I mentioned that the Bolero or the uh, Din's Fire is not necessary to, play, uh, to finish this game. Well, I guess it is necessary in this particular game, this um, Master's Quest. So we're going to have to light the torches inside these mouths because we cannot actually carry Deku sticks as an adult for some odd reason. And we'll go ahead and light these torches right here. And there we go. We're not going to be able to go through there because it is blocked by pillars, by uh, totems. So we'll just have to come through here instead. Deronia! Who's there? Is that you, Link? Uh, yeah. Oh, it really is, Link. You've grown so big since I last saw you. I want to have a man-to-man -man talk with you, but now's not the time. Ganondorf is causing trouble on Death Mountain again. He's revived the evil ancient dragon, Volvagia. On top of that, he's going to feed my people to that evil dragon as a warning to other races who might resist him. If that fire-breathing dragon escapes from the mountain, all of Hyrule will become a burning wasteland. 
That's not good. I will go on ahead and try to seal up the evil dragon. I'm concerned, though, because I don't have the legendary hammer, but I have no choice. Link, I'm asking you to do this as my sworn brother. While I'm trying to deal with the dragon, please save my people. The prisoner cells are in the opposite direction. I'm counting on you, Link. Well, uh, good luck, big brother Jerunia. Good luck. Okay, let's see. What we need to do is come over this way. Jump onto here, jump over to there. Use our hookshot to get over here. Yeah, I'm surprised too. Didn't think that would happen, but... I need to come up here. I need to hit this box. Because it has a torch in it. And let's see... I hope this works. What we need to do is light these two torches here on fire. There it goes, okay, and then we need to quickly pull out our bow and arrow and light that other torch over there. And we probably need to be standing right there, okay, hold on. Please, excuse us. I think I got it, now I just need to light these two torches down here again. There we go, got it! We need to light these three torches and that's the uh, best way to do it. Alright, now, going over to the other side, it should op should have opened a cell. Though I don't think there is a Goron inside it. Strangely enough. Let's we'll just hop over here. Over to here. And over that way. Over to here. And let's grab this key. This time I'm sure, pretty sure it's a key. And that it is. Alright. Got these rupees. These rupees didn't use to bounce. A nice little detail, I guess. Um. Having grabbed this key, I guess we can just go over here. And we'll go ahead and drop on this other side over here where the uh, where there was a locked door. Go through here. Kiss! Ow! And uh, Stalfos, wonderful. I don't have to go. Ow! Ooh. Wow, that was kind of weird. Ow! I was kind of drifting right into him. Ooh, I am so going to die. Fortunately, yeah, I died. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Ooh. Mother. And you're a cause of a lot of problems, sir. Fortunately, these guys don't rely on each other to revive. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, Gert. Just keep doing that. Should be fine. Oh, come on. There. Now we just need to get the other one. Hmm, that, one, that gives me an idea, though. So, yep, I'm going to have to let go of the button just for the briefest of moments. I'm going to see if this will work. Cool. Ha! <laughs> well, these are certainly more useful than I give them credit for. Alright, Navi, uh, I have not been able to figure out how to get that out. I have played every song that I could think of without any success. Why do I get a bad feeling about this place? Maybe it used to have a... In the original, it had a like-like in it. This... In this... This time around, it's just an iron knuckle. I'm not so scared of the iron knuckle. It does hit quite a bit harder than the like like, but it's not quite as grotesque. Ooh, hey, a fairy. Cool. Alright, what we're going to do with this iron knuckle here is uh, get it up. Okay, we'll target it. It's a slow walker, yes. Iron knuckle, watch out for its axe attack. It hurts a lot. Strike it when it drops its guard. 
Yeah, as she said, it hurts quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. We're reduced all the way down to two hearts. So it's just that swing. So we want to wait until it's finished swinging before we actually attack it. Okay, we should just keep attacking it until that happens. And then we can just go ahead and jump attack it. Whoa, hey, slow down, Junior. There we go. Defeated the Iron Knuckle. Not too bad. Hurts quite a bit, but not too bad. Alright, now let's see. We can grab some more fairies from here. Let me go ahead and pull out a bottle. Oh, yes. Nice, I have two bottles full of bugs, which is exactly how many we need. For how, many, how much we have. Okay, with these, um... With these panels, these wall panels, they are going to contain... Here we are, I'm just trying to figure out where it was. These panels will usually contain a fairy in them. If you hit them in the right spot. Usually. Try to figure out this guy's weak spot. This might, guy might be the exception. Anyways, we'll just leave that alone. Um, oh, wow. Hold on. Slow down, Jim. Okay, we'll go ahead and replace that. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, what we have here, Navi, Flare Dancer, extinguish its flaming clothes first. So what we're going to do is toss a bomb at it. Excuse me. Before it does that. Ow! You evil little jerk, come here. Evil little, come here! He's just trying to kill me. I've never had this much trouble before. Go away. Okay, hold on. Just need to toss a bomb at him. We can get him to. Ugh, come here. You know, I've never had this happen before. Never had this happen before. Okay. Now stop. Okay, we just chop at him. If we, if we do a jump attack, we can actually do it quicker. Alright, come here, you. He's gonna change colors with each uh, phase. Red, then blue, and then green. Jump attack him, he should jump back into the flames. Let's see where he's going to be. Yeah, there he is. Whoa, hey. Don't want him to toss out those flames, because it's kind of annoying otherwise. Come here. Okay, we'll just go around and meet him on the other side. Got him. Now we dodge out of the way. And there we are. Phew. That wasn't so tough, was it? Alright, we jump up here. And we grab this treasure chest. Grab me treasure. Arr. Treasure. Booty Blundar. The Megaton Hammer! Use it with those buttons to smash and break junk. It's so heavy you need to use two hands to swing it. But it's oh so satisfying. With that, this is Super Stud Brother. To be continued.